On this episode of The Atlanta Maker, we talk about prototyping designs using cardboard and your Glowforge. First, a few days ago we crossed the 600 subscriber mark. Thank you, and if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing and hitting that thumbs up button, as it helps us out quite a bit. Quite often, when I'm working on an item, I will cut out several versions as I iterate through the design process. That can get quite costly if you are cutting it out of acrylic, plywood, or even draft board. In order to save a bit of money, I've started using cardboard for the first cuts of a project until I'm confident that the design is worthy of the more costly materials. I've seen other laser owners cut down their Amazon boxes to make cardboard for the Glowforge, but I've found that to be quite time-consuming and hard on my knees as I generally would cut them down on the cement basement floor. While looking through Amazon for things to feed my laser, I came across Glowforge sized cardboard that was really inexpensive so it was no longer worth my time and effort to cut down shipping boxes. This cardboard ships for free with Amazon Prime, and it fits the Glowforge perfectly. The 50 sheets end up costing about 37 cents each, versus $4 for draft board, or even $2.5 for non-proof grade MDF. That's over a 90% savings versus using draft board for prototyping. I've included some starting Glowforge settings here and in the video description below for cutting and engraving this cardboard. Now a couple caveats for using cardboard. This works really well for testing out dimensions and fit and feel, but the cardboard may not be the same thickness as what you ultimately use as your material. The cardboard is slightly thicker than 1 8 inch for comparison purposes. Also, it doesn't work very well for very skinny details such as this LCD screen enclosure, but it still let me easily verify my size was correct for the panel. Here are a couple other things I've prototyped with cardboard that helped during the design process. This first one is a player game board I'm helping a friend create, and I was able to spend about 75 cents in materials to verify everything fits. I've also been working on a bottle opener design and wanted to get a feel for how the size felt, so I cut out a few samples and taped them together, adjusting it until it looked and felt right. So for less than $20, you can get yourself 50 sheets of cardboard to have on hand. I think it's well worth the small investment, and it can save you money in the long run. See you next time.